project that we're going to work on is this blessed wreath. I picked up an embroidery hoop from a thrift store for a dollar, but you can grab these at Walmart and they make really adorable wreaths. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this bless sticker that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. I'm also going to be using some paper to put behind it. I picked up this package of paper at Ikea for really inexpensive. Dollar Tree also has a brown paper like this that you could use instead. And then I'm just going to cut out a border for this. So I just eyeballed it, I put my stencil down, and I cut it a little bit longer on either end so that it looks nice with my sticker in the middle. Then I'm just going to place the sticker down. Uh, be careful with this because I kind of messed up and put it down and it wasn't completely straight so I had to pull it up, which is kind of hard to do with wrapping paper. From there, I'm going to use the Annie Sloan Soft Wax in the color Dark, and I'm going to use this to make my hoop a little bit darker. I didn't really like the light color, so this is just going to add a little bit of a dark stain to it. If you don't have a dark wax, you can always just use some stain. Next, I wanted this to be a little bit firmer, so I'm using a poster board from Dollar Tree, and I'm hot gluing my sign to the to the poster board and then I'm just going to cut it out that way when I set it on the wreath it's going to be nice and firm you could also you know use a cardstock if you didn't want to go by poster board I grabbed four of these cute succulents from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to place them at the bottom and then again with my hot glue gun I'm going to glue them in place. I will link below where you can pick up my hot glue gun. It's awesome. It has a stand and it also does like a high and low setting. So once I get these four in place, I'm going to just put a couple of little white flowers in the center. I had these kind of in my stock of flowers from Dollar Tree. So really, I'm just kind of creating as I go. I love doing that, and that's what's fun for me. And then at an angle, I'm just going to hot glue this sign down. I think it looks so cute, especially on this door that I have in my half bath. I just think it's an adorable sign. So I hope you guys like it. I know the hoop is not from Dollar Tree, but you can pick it up super inexpensively. The next thing we're going to make is this home sweet home sign. I grabbed this at Dollar Tree. When I saw it, I knew it would be perfect for making a sign. So I'm actually going to be cutting off the bottom layer because I'm only going to be using three. And then I grabbed some of this scrapbook paper at Hobby Lobby when they had their, I think it was four for a dollar scrapbook paper. That's when you really want to buy their paper. And I'm just going to trim out three of these pieces so that they will fit onto my sign. If you guys haven't joined our Facebook group, you need to join. We have over 3,000 members and everyone posts their Dollar Tree DIYs and home decor projects it's so fun. So if you want to join, just go to Facebook and type in my DIY home group and you will just click on it and ask to be a member and I will approve you. So next I'm going to use Mod Podge in matte and you can grab that at Dollar Tree and I'm just going to do a thin layer on and make sure that you completely cover your sign. And then I'll just lay the scrapbook paper on top of that and then add some additional glue and just make sure that you have a light cover so that when it dries, it's nice and even. And I'm going to do that with my other two signs as well. If you guys are interested on what I pick up at Dollar Tree, I'm always posting in my Instagram stories, new finds from the Dollar Tree. So you can go follow me on Instagram if you are interested in what I find at Dollar Tree. 
So I'm just going to let this dry. It doesn't take that long, um, maybe an hour or two. And then I'm going to use my Waverly chalk paint in white that you can pick up at Walmart. And then this Home Sweet Home Stencil. I've used this several times. This is a Dollar Tree stencil, but it's super cute. I'm just going to do a thin layer and I'm going to put Home on one side, Sweet, and then Home on the bottom again. So you want to just do two thin layers of this paint. So I'm just gonna go through and do one layer and then I'll go back and add additional layers. I definitely like the way it was looking, but I thought it needed a little bit of distressing because I just think everything needs to be a little bit distressed. So I decided to take my same paintbrush with the white on it and just ever so slightly run it along the edges. I don't even think I put additional paint on it. I was just kind of using what was on my brush and then emphasizing a little bit more in the corners, but I think it just gave it a nice distressed look. And I didn't do anything to the ribbon. I left the ribbon exactly the way it was and I hung it in my kitchen and I think it turned out super cute. You guys will have to let me know what you think. My next project is this really fun command station that I made for my daughter's bedroom. So I grabbed this. I don't know if you guys remember my haul. It was $2.50 at a thrift store. I found this calendar for $0.30 because it was 70% off at the Target dollar spot. So I'm just peeling off the top two layers and putting that down. I have this chalkboard that I got for $0.90 cents at the Target dollar spot. And I thought that would be so fun for my daughter. And then I just grabbed a notebook for a dollar to put on there as well. So to attach my calendar, it has a nice hook on it. So I'm just going to take some decorative ribbon and tie it to the top. I chose purple because she has a lot of purple in her room. My daughter loves keeping calendars and notes, so I thought this would just be a really cute little station for her. You could always flip that chalkboard over so it was blank, but I kind of liked where it was said, today I'm celebrating. I just thought that was kind of fun. And then I am going to just load this up with hot glue, and then I'm going to flip it back over. I did put some cardboard underneath so that it didn't go completely on my table since this is... Um, you can see through the metal there. Next, I have these little cute clips. You can grab these at Dollar Tree. And I thought these would be cute in this section for my daughter to hang pictures or cards or anything that she wanted up here. And it's also magnetic, so she can use things, magnets to put on there. So then I just flipped it over to the back and I'm going to use E6000 along the edge of my chalkboard as well as my notepad. And this is going to let it hold so much better than hot glue would. So, you know, things like this where kids could be pulling at it, I think E6000 is definitely the way to go. I'm going to do that on the chalkboard as well as the notebook. And I'm going to let this sit for several hours before I try hanging it up. To hang it up, I I used several of the command strips and just attached it to the wall and I just think it turns out so great. Have you guys checked out my spring mantle video? If not, I'm going to link it right here so you can watch that video next and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!